Say hello to Facebook, Zelda. Are you going to tell them what you did? Tell them what you did. So Zelda went to a new home about two or three weeks ago. And she decided she wanted to tear that lady's arm off. So the lady couldn't bond with her. So she decided to bring her back to me. Would you get your tail out your face? And as soon as she came home, she is as content as a pea in a pod. She doesn't want to go nowhere but cuddle. I wonder if it's possible to be overly bonded to a sugar glider. To the point that they can't go to a new home. Look how lovingly she's staring and so sleepy and happy. She's not shaken. She's just content. I guess we have a decision to make in the household because if I keep her, then things could happen um, with her father. They can't stay in the same cage. So it's either invest in a new cage and have two separate sugar glider cages or try to find a home for this cute little baby. But I don't know if I can do that now because it's just breaking my heart to have her react this way coming home um from the lady who bought her. So that's a little update on the sugar babies. Okay, so right now I'm spending some bonding time with Zelda in the bathroom. Um, since she came back from her little almost home, um, we have been bonding for about two days. Um, I just wanted to make a little compilation video to tell y'all about you know her progress because obviously you know something is not right if she went to a new home I understand it takes you know some time for them to bond and to want to come and be good little sugar babies but she just wouldn't bond she basically tore that lady's arm off bit her scratched her and I just can't have that if you know I want my sugar babies to go to a new home now, I have had the same problem with Piper, as you already know. Piper is very, she has such an attitude, and Zelda just seems to favor her. And I really don't know what to do to break that. Piper's a lot better now that she's not pregnant anymore and carrying these big old babies in her pouch. But, I don't know if it's just a female sugar glider instinct but she just wants to fight me and doesn't want anything to do with me or want to play. She just wants, if I have a treat, she wants it and she runs. If I am giving her food and water, she drinks it and eats it and runs and goes and hides. Like they seem to not want to have anything to do with people. And I just don't really know how to break that. I guess it's something that really is just going to take a lot of time. And I feel... You know, that she doesn't need to go to another home if she's going to treat, you know, her new owner that way. And she's so cute and, um, I just don't, I'm just going to have to figure it out. And I'll keep you guys updated and let you know because I think a lot of people are having this problem with their sugar gliders. And you watch other YouTube videos about people spending all this time and they do fun stuff with their sugar gliders. And the sugar gliders are so bonded and it just doesn't make sense to me, um... I don't have that problem with males now. Leo and Link, whenever Link is gone, Link got adopted. Um, but they are so sweet and they love me and they want to spend time with me and hang out. And Zelda just, and, and Zelda and Piper are not interested. And I just don't get it. And so I'm trying to break her now while she's still a baby. Unfortunately, Piper, I think she's always going to, have that problem um she just that's her that's piper she does what she wants if you have a snack she's gonna get it and she's only interested in you if you have something she wants so she's getting in my in my clothes so i mean that's a little update and i'll keep you guys updated on her progress and hopefully things will be turning around i mean she just like if I try to pick her up, she crabs at me unless I'm giving her something she wants. Um, I just don't get it, you know, coming from raising her as a baby 
and her and her brother have two completely different personalities and she's just so skittish with noises and people and the world is just so overwhelming to her and I understand but when is you know how long is this gonna take is she always going to be this way? I mean, if she is, she'll never be adopted. I can't let her go to another home where she's going to, you know, tear people's arms off. <laughs> so, that's my little update. And if you have guys have any questions or, I mean, if you have sugar gliders and you have some um, advice for me, then leave them in the comment section below.